Hi, Happy New Year everyone. This is Edie from Virtually In Sync and the Video VA blog. Today I'm creating a new video series in which I will call the Video VA YouTube Q&A. My first question is from TMC Restoration, and their question reads, Hi Edie, how does Google Plus differentiate between a personal account and a business page? I don't see the Add or Remove Manager option. This question was specifically in reference to a video that I had posted called How to Add a Manager to Your YouTube Channel. And so in order to answer this question, I will just give a quick overview of what the differences are. Google Plus allows you to have two different types of identities, if you will. You can have a personal identity, which is known as the Google Plus profile, or you can have a Google Plus business page, which allows you to differentiate between you as an individual, which is your profile, and you as your business entity, whether you're a celebrity or you're some sort of public figure, if you're a brand, if you're an organization, if you just want to separate your business or other entity from your personal profile. If you're new to Google, the first thing that you're going to do usually what introduces most of us to Google is creating a Gmail account. And your Gmail account is always and automatically going to be linked to your Google Plus profile. So I wanted to quickly show you the difference between a profile and a business page and how you can tell what type of page you do have. I currently have up my personal profile page and the way that you can tell is when you see the word up here profile, you see to the left of it, there's an icon that is identified by an avatar which is in the shape of a person. So that tells you that this is a Google Plus profile. The difference between this and a Google Plus business page really isn't much in terms of content. However, again, I will show you how you can tell that this page that I'm on now is actually my business page. And I'm probably the worst example because I came over to using the business pages when Google Plus um, bought YouTube, I was a member of Google prior to that, like many of us, and I just opted to keep my personal page as my business. I wanted that identity to be a part of my YouTube identity, primarily because I'd already built up um, a following and I just didn't want to be bothered. Um, but I'm going to go over here right now so that you can see the different pages that I have and you can tell the difference between an icon that's identifying a business versus a profile. If it's a business page, it will be identified with an icon with a square in the middle if you've not obviously replaced it with your image. So if you have one of these, then that's a business page. If it's an avatar of a person, then it's a personal profile. Now we're going to jump over to YouTube so that you can see what the difference is to YouTube in terms of whether you have a profile or a business page. This is um, my overview page from my virtually in sync personal YouTube channel. As you can see, I can edit my account obviously on Google Plus. I can change my password and I have the direct email um, in order to do my mobile uploads. But nowhere on this page does it allow me to assign a manager. And that's because one of the don'ts for profiles is that I cannot add managers to my personal profile. So I'm going to show you now on this second page. This is a business page that I happen to have. But as you can see here, I can add or remove managers. And that's the advantage of having a business page. So if in fact you're looking long term and you've decided that you want to have a YouTube channel that you're eventually going to pass on to someone that you want them to manage, then your best bet is to create that channel through your Google Plus 
uh, pages as opposed to profile because once you've made this decision and you've assigned your YouTube channel to your business page or to your profile, you cannot change it again. So if everything that you're doing is now connected to your profile, you will not be able to change it to a business account and subsequently you will not be able to assign managers. So that's the biggest difference and that's how you can tell and Google and YouTube obviously know the difference. So if you have a personal profile that's linked to your YouTube channel, you will not be able to assign a manager. To make sure you stay up to date with all of my latest content, please be sure to become my newest subscriber by clicking the subscribe button. Additionally, if you would like to receive tips and information on video creation and marketing that I only share with my email list, sign up at virtuallyinsync.com. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to hearing about your video success.